Alden Lab has been solving flow problems since 1894, and its history is symbolized by this rotating boom at its headquarters in Holden, Massachusetts. The boom is an ASME historic landmark and was used to design early airplane propellers. This video provides an introduction to Alden as well as some specific information on Alden's gas flow systems engineering services. We start with an interview with President Ned Taft. We were formed in 1894 as part of Worcester Polytechnic Institute and much of what we've done here at Alden over the years is related to what's been going on in the United States and the world in general. For example, uh, in the early days we were doing a lot of work with hydropower turbines to develop those to provide reliable sources of energy for the United States. In, world, in uh, the early days of aviation we tested prototype wooden plane propellers mm -hmm. And we tested those on the boom that's in the pond that everybody wonders about as they drive by. Uh, World War II, we tested uh, air to water torpedoes for the, for the Navy. We developed a lot of different shapes to minimize deflection. And then in the big building boom went on during the big energy uh, boom in, after World War II when we did a lot of work on looking at the thermal effects of power plants discharging their hot water as part of their process into rivers, streams, and oceans. And that's basically was sort of the mainstay of the lab up to that time. And then 20 years ago now, the difference is you became a private right. entity. Right. And then what happens? Okay, What's at that point, we then started adding to our, our base uh, core areas of expertise. We added uh, an environmental group, which is now one of our largest groups, we added uh, and uh, it greatly expanded our air and gas flow modeling capability in both physical modeling and mathematical modeling. And that's now one of our largest areas, developing uh, technologies to keep the air coming out of power plants clean. Mm -hmm. the, um, we continue to do calibration, is still one of our core bases, flow meter calibration. And a lot of what we used to do with physical models, we now do with computer models. We now turn to Alden's Gas Flow Systems Engineering Services and an interview with Vice President David Anderson. Hi Dave. Hi Jen. Dave Anderson is a Vice President here at Alden Research Lab and right now we are in the Air and Gas Flow Facility. Dave, tell us a little bit about what goes on here. Sure. Uh, in the Air and Gas Flow Facility we simulate uh, various components of power plants, mainly air pollution control systems because we're an environmentally based company. Uh, and in particular, we model systems for collecting uh, sulfur that leads to acid rain, which can kill fish in, in when it gets into lakes. Uh, nitrous oxides, which leads to smog, which you see the brown haze mm -hmm. in the sky, and particulate matter that can lead to asthma. So we're working on systems that uh, eliminate those emissions from power plants. And to do that, we build physical flow models out of plexiglass and sheet metal. And we run airflow through them, and we go in and we measure various things like mixing and, and velocity distributions. And the, the objective is to design these systems so that when they get put out into the field, they're operating correctly. In real life, these systems will be about 12 times bigger than what you see here in, in the facility. So they're talking about things that are, are huge. And it makes more sense to uh, evaluate how these things work at a small scale before you go out to the field and make them big. I think it's fascinating. You take on these projects and you build these models here. It's great. Well, it's, uh, we've been doing it for many, many years, and we have uh, clients all over the world. And uh, again, the goal is to try to uh, make the air cleaner. And we fabricate all the models here ourselves. Uh, they're fabricated from plexiglass and sheet metal, and uh, we do all the testing and, and everything right here under one roof. In addition to physical flow models, Alden also performs computational flow modeling, which can sometimes provide the required accuracy at a lower cost. Shown here is a computer model of a baghouse showing the motion of particulates. The second example is a study of a stacked exhaust plume. Here we are showing an animation of isocontours of temperature in the plume. The intersection of the zero degree surface and the stack is where icing is possible. In summary, Alden Labs Gas Flow Systems Engineering Group provides cost effective solutions to air pollution control equipment performance problems. Additionally, the group provides guidance for gas flow issues in a range of industrial applications, including renewable energy systems, refineries, manufacturing processes, and complex ventilation systems for industrial and public buildings. Alden looks forward to hearing about your most challenging problems.